Hello and welcome, my name is David and I'm here recording for you the first tutorial for Uncharted Waters Online. Right, we are here at this school, I already have an advanced character, but I will show you the basics for this first tutorial now. What you have here is your character, here at the bottom the chat window, and here you have other buttons. Here you have your fleet. You can, for example, say uh, comment your status so other people can see it. So not important for now. Then you have your character. That's uh, more important. Here you can see from which nation you are, your current job, your current rank and so on. What kind of levels you have. Uh, you can have uh, maximum level 70, 70, 70, so you can advance in every um, direction. So you can advance in being a trader, you can go leveling being an adventurer or a soldier. Well, yep, that's it. Then we have here the skills, which skills you have. You, I will tell you later where you can acquire them. Uh, what kind of skills are important for you and so on. You have adventure, again there are three jobs, adventure, trade or battle, uh, three directions, not the jobs, sorry, three directions, adventure, trade or battle and uh, you can specialize a one or you can be perfectly at all of three, it doesn't matter. So. The next thing what we have is technologies. We don't have any at the moment. The next thing, equipment. This is like every other massive multiplier online where you have your equipment here and you can say, "Oh, I want to get off my glo get uh off my gloves or my shoes and get it on again." Blah blah blah. Have this here or this here which gives you for example, this is a Fisherman's gear which gives you plus one uh, fishing uh, and there are many many other items reserve candle Very important item. I will tell you later why it's so important Okay, next thing we have is the inventory. This is your character inventory what you have with you like recipes here you got, I got like two recipes and so on a card game where I can play poker with others all right, and then you also have, beside your character, you have your ship information. Ship information, here it tells, is your ship damaged? Uh, is it improved? The speed of the ship and so on, so very easy. The sailor details, how many of them are fatigue, right? Alright, so it's very easy, ship and then you got like ship parts, like your character you can also equip your ship parts, this orca stature gives me uh, uh, fatigue uh, relief for my sailors, this gives me uh, plus horizontal sail so I'm a bit faster and so on. And then I have my cargo, very important, here is like if I'm on the sea fishing, I will also tell you this later, and the convert to supplies can also be very important. I will tell you later what it is. But here you have your ship cargo, with all your ship, uh, what, what you ga gather on the sea, like fish, food, or whatever. Here's like the water that you need, the food that you need for your voyages. Alright. The other thing and uh, is the journal. The journal that you have your port permits, which you get at the beginning. Yeah, so let's start and I will explain on the way, the rest on the way. So at the beginning, actually I'm, I've already done this, you go to the rece receptionist and you talk with the rece receptionist and blah 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 and then she tells you what kind of um, job you want, what kind of course you want to subscribe, adventure trade or maritime. So I, I chose uh, merchant trade, 
I chose trade and then you go to the you apply your uniform you get a uniform and th to apply this uniform we do it like this so we go to equipment and apply our uniform here right then we go to to our instructor and um, then you get a quest by clicking here that way you will get your first quest so now you know how to take quests so but what do you have to do in this quest so the first step is you go you go grab your course that you want to take trade adventure or maritime then you go and go to the instructor and get your quests where you can see your quest details right here you go to your journal here you go to your journal you click on quest and here you see a summary what you have to do like is someone waiting outside or do you have to talk to someone or whatever and then you just do that it's very simple so these are quests also at the first at the very beginning what you get is the port permits map it's a map where you can see uh, where you can travel now we just have northern Europe at the beginning you will just have northern Europe and with all the cities that you can travel to and towns and here we have London and so on and so on like I have more because I'm advanced but you will get this too alright what we else have is the story and this uh, at this point you have the story here the event history so if you click at the event history the story like every massive multiplayer online has a story and you will see this here the details so what you did what happened and it's like only one quest uh, chain here right okay uh, and also there you can like follow the details to your story uh, what else we have is a card deck which is not so important it's like which cards you have what you discovered which treasures you already discovered and so on and blah blah not really interesting right that's that was the most important thing we had here we have shipwrecks so sometimes when we uh, uh, win when we have victories against other in battles if we win we get sometimes those shipwrecks here and maybe we'll get a chart see a treasure maybe whatever all right and the last thing we have is here the search list if you search for people yeah if you search for you want to find a new guild or whatever or you want uh, someone who has his uh, market opened yeah and with all the nations you can we can like search for that now we get all the people who are selling things those are uh, multiplayer real people there and you can say okay this king of beers here he is selling uh, something now I can send him a tell here or I can uh, browse his items what does he sell rapid fire uh, rapid fire cannons great now very easy so through the search button you can get a lot of things actually you can get help you can join guilds maybe you can find friends whatever what else we have is a friends list well I don't have to say more class register this is this class register is only during your course and you can do all of the courses like we did now the trade I, I subscribe for the trade course and now you can continue and do then later the adventure course or the or the maritime course for battle and always when you are subscribed to a course you are have these channels here and you have people here who are still learning it's a big game and you have to learn a lot and pee all these people here learning and that's why you have here the school chat so if we click on the school chat we can talk with the school guys and there are a lot of people there so take advantage of the channel you can ask anything in the school channel 
any help you can get there? All right. Hello, hello, Landris. Right. Okay. Uh, once you complete your course, well, we started here our course now, as you know, I started my trade course. Once we complete that, in the, in the end we have an exam. If I'm successful, my course is complete, I will get some rewards and I will not have this cool channel anymore. I will be kicked off this cool channel. Right, you can set your own status, you can check your mail, whatever. You can have your own buzzer, if uh, bez bazaar, bazaar, I don't know how it's... So, like, if I want to sell fish, yeah, I can go outside, say, set my price here and sell my fish. And people can come to me, like, this is good when you are going AFK and you have nice items to, that you want to sell. People, other people can find you and buy things from you so you will sit there for one hour if you're for one hour afk maybe people will buy who knows it's a great feature great feature no other game has that your bounty record yeah well it, we don't have anything now and the settings well that's it for this first chapter In the next chapter i'm gonna explain the next steps what you're gonna do like questing voyaging going to other cities trading and so on so important things step by step see you soon